All right, thank you, Larry. Appreciate that. Thanks, thanks for coming. Uh, anybody else feeling kind of tired? Had a good lunch? All right, we'll, we'll see if we can get some energy uh, out of you. So um, as Larry had mentioned, extremely important topic here. And uh, the, the way that we're gonna run this is, I do have some front end slides just to put a few pretty pictures up and get some, some big ideas out there. But this is the focus. The expertise here is broad and deep. And there's some pretty broad shoulders up there too. And some, I mean, look at, look at these guys, I wouldn't mess with them. Um, so uh, let's, let's go ahead and, and, and get some of the ideas started, but, but more importantly, be prepared with you know, some of the concerns and ideas and challenges and discussions that you have in the roles that, that, um, that you're responsible for and bring those to the table because you, you, you do have an opportunity with these experts here. So um, change is constant, you know, and uh, the, the focus for industry has historically been around that resiliency, around safety and that is never going to leave us. We know that that is a foundation of everything that we do. Uh, and what's developed uh, are really complex systems. And sometimes we lose sight of just how much complexity there is in what is required to deliver power to us or to move people or to, um, to give us clean water or to bake our bread and brew our beer and make our cars and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the systems usually work, which is quite amazing. It's, it really is quite amazing. If you, if you haven't thought about the energy and the expertise that has to go in just to dream up how to attack a problem, let alone implement that and then support it. And we know that we can do this because we have systems that run reliably and profitably for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. But it is a fragile world. And all the variables that we're trying to manage in order to ensure we can meet our business objectives, uh, the, the risk that we run into is the items that we're not accounting for, new variables that, uh, that are constantly being introduced. And that's the topic of today's conversation is that convergence I will use that. Is Eric Cosman in the room? I'm using convergence. There he is. Uh, it is. It is that linkage between safety and security, precisely today's topic. So I, I pulled this quote or kind of a representation of a quote from an executive order from a past presidency here that, that this, was, this was a quote used to kick off the cybersecurity framework effort that brought a bunch of industries together a bunch of industry expertise together in order to define uh, a framework that, that could be of value back to the larger community. And the key takeaway, the reason why I chose to identify this is that right in the quote, the words security and safety are used. Now this was back in 2013, 2014. I'm looking, from, looking at Marty as a truth table here, somewhere in there. Um, so this is not a new idea. And for many of you, I, I doubt that the linkage between safety and security is necessarily a new idea. Um, but we're reaching the point now that this is a discussion topic and we now have real world examples that really compel us to think hard about the investments we make at um, addressing the risk associated with this. So this is my Goldilocks slide where too hot, too cold. We're looking for the right level of investments so we don't underspend nor overspend on addressing risk for our own organizations. And around safety and security, um, there can be different budgets, but there can also be combined budget, budgets. And, and that's why it is imperative that we really uh, do think about where we're gonna make investments and this pace for a change that we expect from those investments. So we're gonna transition into uh, the panel discussion and I'll just, I'll finish on this one that there's, there's so many words that end in why that drive our business operations and safety and security are two of those words that end in why that this panel is gonna help us dive into and help us understand. 